Hello everybody. So this is part two of uh, LAP protocol, learning action protocol. So here now your home visit starts from day three. Uh, so whoever decides, so if you want Anganwadi worker to take a visit, uh, you can, uh, you know, uh, actually administration decides for us. Uh, you know, they decide who would do home visit for what, uh, you know, what day. So here in home visit, uh, first uh, first visit would be on day three. Uh, first thing what you need to do is to check weight and, and length. Okay, uh, make sure that you check this baby's weight accurately, even the length. Uh, you have already seen the tutorial on how to check uh, weight and length. Uh, then you fill out the breastfeeding assessment form. Okay, so uh, here uh, you have already gone through that breastfeeding assessment form. You tell mother to breastfeed the baby. Okay, and you just observe. You observe whether she washed her hand or not, whether she drank milk uh, water or not, whether she, uh, you know, uh, removed a lot of clothes from the baby. You just have to observe it. You don't interfere. Let her do everything. You just, what you need to do is to just tick mark that breastfeeding observation form. Okay, because by end of it, you'll know exactly what all things that you need to advise. Because if we interfere when she's trying to do something, you know, you will miss a lot of point. So just let her, let her do it and you observe it uh, some of the points you may have to ask you know uh, leading questions like are you feeding at night you know uh, or uh, you know or you can ask even questions like uh, how many times baby feeds at night so then you know she'll be able to answer correctly uh, actually uh, you know or you can ask uh, how many times baby feed during daytime you know, uh, how, how do you know that baby is hungry? So some of the questions, you know, that you can uh, ask, uh, avoid leading questions, uh, ask questions in which mother can reply uh, in kind of, you know, long sentences. Uh, another thing what you want to do is, uh, so once you fill out the breastfeeding assessment form, you'll know exactly where the problem is. Uh, you definitely want to show those IC material that we have shown, uh, not only sun part but 45 points of uh, cross cradle hole, uh, while correcting the breastfeeding position and the latch. Okay, you feel uh, you fill LAP card. Uh, plot uh, growth chart also so that growth chart I've shown you plot it so that you know whether baby has gained enough weight or not uh, you show cross cradle hole and breastfeeding latching video okay uh, day 5 home visit uh, so now it's day 5 uh, day 5 home visits the same thing you don't need to check uh, length so I've written over here so just check weight no length here then we have shown uh, home visit first check uh, weight and length uh, fill breastfeeding assessment form while observing breastfeeding uh, show cross skill hold. Uh, sorry, this is day three. Uh, I, I'm on day five. So you have the first check weight, uh, fill breastfeeding assessment form while observing and breastfeeding. You show cross skill hold and 45 points while correcting breastfeeding position and latch. So pretty much the same thing. Here now what I have done, I have shown that if the baby's weight on day five is lower than baby's birth weight, only then you need to sh uh, show cross cradle hold and breastfeeding latching tutorial okay but while you're doing a breastfeeding assessment form and if you feel that there are a lot of issues mother is still not uh, latching properly or there are a lot of uh, skill issues please go ahead and watch uh, tell her to watch cross cradle hold and latching videos okay important another thing what you can do is to, you can ask her to you know subscribe to our tutorial you know health spoken tutorial at iit bombay and then she can watch it Subscribe in husband's phone, mother-in-law's phone, subscribe to everybody's uh, uh, phone and you can in fact guide them that do it, do it this way, do it that way, you know. So this is important, okay. Uh, make sure that day by day five baby's weight should be higher than the birth weight because if it's not then definitely latching is the big problem, okay. Now day seven you have a home visit, pretty much the same thing, no need to check length, okay. Uh, fill out the breastfeeding assessment form you show cross cradle hold and uh, IAC chart okay uh, fill LAP card and pl uh, plot growth chart also now here what I have shown that uh, as per WHO growth chart your baby's boy current weight is 200 gram less than uh, his birth weight okay uh, 
so normally what happens in as per WHO growth chart, baby's weight should be higher, at least gain 200 grams in first week. If baby's not gaining 200 grams in first week, then she will have a problem. Okay, uh, and if the baby's current uh, girls generally gain 100 grams uh, in first week. Okay, so if, if this is not happening, then there is definitely issue with uh, breastfeeding, latching and other counseling points. So again, you show her those uh, health spoken to turtle and cross cradle hole and latching. And we also show her poor weight gain uh, due to improper breastfeeding. So there is one tutorial that you have seen. Uh, what are the reasons that why babies don't gain weight? So it's important that you show that tutorial to mother. So she understand that where she is going wrong. Okay, uh, and I recommend to show this tutorial every time that you feel that baby is not gain enough weight, show that tutorial. Okay, now if baby has gained really good weight by, by one week of age, boy has gained more than 200 grams, girls have gained more than 100 grams, then you don't need to worry about it. You just basically follow the same thing, you know, and you will see, uh, uh, you know, congratulate her, tell her that she has done amazing uh, work. Uh, you focus on her nutrition, mother's nutrition. So you show her lactating mother's nutrition recipes, okay, uh, veg and non-veg, whatever mother prefers and you can start with that. Okay, so that was your day 7 uh, visit. Uh, now it's uh, day 9. Okay, so let's see what happens uh, in day 9. So here is your, uh, sorry, day 10 visit. So now we have day uh, third day visit not uh, after two days so here you can see in day 10 visit you have uh, first escalation so in day 10 visit if uh, baby has not gained uh, more than 100 grams from day 7 that means this baby is critical okay in terms of uh, breastfeeding uh, of course always check weight first you observe breastfeeding uh, you know show IC material okay correct uh, breastfeeding positioning and latching you fill LAP card and uh, plot growth chart uh, again if baby has not gained more than 100 grams from last visit from day 7 you want to definitely send this baby uh, you want to escalate this matter to your colleague or to your supervisor okay so if the weight gain is uh, more than uh, you know 100 grams then you don't need to worry about it, okay? Uh, you just basically show a couple of tutorials, importance of breastfeeding and breastfeeding nutrition, essential nutrition action for children. Follow up as per home-based newborn care, okay? So you follow that baby as per home-based newborn care, that would be next visit would be day 14, okay? You don't, you can skip that day 12 visit if baby has gained good amount of weight, okay? But if baby has not gained good amount of weight, baby has not gained minimum 100 grams from day 7, then you want to again uh, do the same thing, you know. Uh, and here I've written if the baby uh, weight gain since day 7 is less than 150 grams uh, on day 12, uh, then you, you want to activate, you know, the third escalation, okay. Uh, here, so similarly in all the visits I've mentioned, uh, how much should be minimum weight gain? If it's not there, then there is an issue. By day 14, by and large, all our babies start gaining 500 gram uh, in two weeks. Okay, so if they're not gaining uh, 500 grams in two weeks, that means there is an issue with breastfeeding again. Okay, so you work on that. Uh, also, uh, then your HPNC visit starts. Anytime, in any visit, if you feel that baby has not gaining minimum 40 grams a day, uh, I would definitely see that baby in uh, two days again, okay? Uh, cutoff should be 30, 30 grams. If baby is not getting 30 grams in one day, single day uh, or per day, uh, then I'm worried, okay? Uh, try to keep your target higher because if, you, if your targets are higher, uh, you know, you'll be able to kind of uh, put in more effort to teach mothers and those babies, they do wonderful, okay? So again, your day 21, day 28, day 42, six weeks, four weeks, six weeks, 10 weeks visit, okay? Uh, this are again, uh, you know, your six week, 10 week and your 14 week visit is your penta visit, okay? So if you don't want to do home visit, uh, you can uh, do visit when the baby comes to Anganwadi or wherever she goes for vaccination, uh, you know, and uh, A&M or ASHA, if they're present, they can fill out, uh, you know, they can do all this stuff uh, at the time of, uh, you know, a contact point, okay? Uh, and uh, then you have your, uh, you know, uh, 14 weeks of over. So now after 14 weeks we will start with a little bit older uh, babies and here is your 
uh, protocol for a little bit older babies. Okay, so here, uh, uh, you know, your protocol for three and a half month to 12 months of uh, baby, uh, three and a half month, four and a half month. Now you can see this visits are all monthly visits, right? Uh, because mothers, they already know how to breastfeed. Uh, again, in any visit, if you feel that baby is not gaining good amount of weight, uh, you know, uh, and now after three months, their weight gain is about 20 grams per day. Okay, so if baby is not gaining 20 grams per day, then that would be a problem. Uh, you check uh, weight and length, fill learning action protocol, plot the growth chart. Okay, uh, you do essential nutrition action for type 1 and type 2 nutrient. Uh, here again, uh, just follow those protocols, you know. Um, I've written that how much should be the weight gain if baby's weight gain is less than uh, written over here then uh, what to do I've mentioned this is called learning action protocol okay so you're learning you're taking an action and uh, that's what you're, you're you know you're uh, understanding how babies grow okay uh, three and a half month four and a half month five and a half month complementary feeding uh, phase from six months to 12 months of age so if the baby is vegetarian you start with protein rich food like uh, beans, lentils, millet, curd, paneer. Of course, as you can see over here, I've mentioned food which are very high in protein. Okay, so you start protein rich food as I mentioned again and again and again. Babies who are start on non protein rich food, uh, we have say, uh, seen stagnation. Okay, so don't start with uh, uh, apple puree, don't start with uh, fruit puree or vegetable puree. Please start with uh, uh, you know protein rich food. And if the no baby is non veg, then you just go ahead and start with the uh, non veg food. You don't have to wait till one year of age. You know, start with egg start with fish puree meat puree chicken puree you know uh, then you can start with dal and millets and uh, you know dahi paneer and those vegetables and fruits okay um, at six months of age so now these are again protocols uh, for uh, you know um, your uh, babies uh, one more thing i wanted to uh, kind of bring your attention to that here starting from uh, three and a half months of age we are now sensitizing mothers on nutrition okay so here uh, you will be showing them health spoken tutorial on essential nutrition action for children and one uh, type 1 type 2 nutrient okay uh, but here you want to kind of definitely mention that babies need to start on breast milk after six months of age not before six months of age okay uh, and at four and a half months of age you uh, teach mother how to do how to uh, prepare safely but these are tutorials on safe preparation serving storage of the baby food you know personal hygiene so you want to start slowly slowly kind of sensitizing mothers on upcoming complementary feeding phase okay uh, in five and a half months uh, we have started with complementary feeding guideline and complementary food uh, these are only to watch tutorial uh, but again do mention to her that uh, you know uh, she should wait till a baby completes six months of age and then start uh, complementary foods okay uh, at six months uh, again we have written about what uh, uh, tutorials to be shown uh, check weight and length not to forget uh, fill out your learning action protocol and your growth chart show a nutrition IC chart so those nutrition IC charts are important and then your baby's weight is less than six and a half kg you observe breastfeeding and correct the latch okay so all that is important uh, at six and a half months uh, you do uh, home visits again uh, same thing here I've written how much baby should be eating and what uh, f uh, powders that mothers need to make, how many powders that she needs to make, so all that. And I've also written that how much uh, weight can baby should have, okay. Uh, then at seven month visit, again, uh, same thing, you know, I've written uh, baby should get at least 200 grams from six month visit. If baby's weight is less than 20, 200 grams from six months, then you see this baby after one week. So in complementary feeding stage, if baby's not gaining weight, you start seeing babies out in a week time. Don't wait for too long because if, if you wait for too long and if the stagnation of weight occurs, then the height will get affected. Okay, so that is important. Very elaborate uh, uh, LAP protocol that we have created have put in a lot of effort. Uh, so do kind of, uh, you know, uh, take advantage of it. Uh, you learn a lot really to be frank. So here is your uh, protocol on, uh, you know, starting from seven and a half months to up to 12 months of age. Similarly, just you can go through it. I've written very uh, distinctly how to, uh, what to do, what, uh, uh, you know, if baby's not gaining weight, what to do, 
whom to send uh, escalation visits are also there okay and uh, you know so at seven and a half month eight month there are different tutorials that you need to show during each visit okay uh, because we have to tell as per age of the baby okay uh, you do use those uh, IC material uh, nutrition charts uh, which I'll be explaining in another uh, session uh, and you know here is the chart which we have shown one two three four five six seven eight you know these are all the food groups okay so when you're talking about the nutrition do talk about this food groups also okay so this is your learning action protocol for every visit uh, I hope you uh, you use it uh, I'm going to put the link on the website uh, to print out on a3 chart on a good material uh, do a good printout okay just don't Xerox it uh, and uh, you know make a folder you know uh, bind it uh, put a plastic cover in front and back so it will last you for almost a year or two you know uh, just remember that it's uh, it's first thousand days plus your pre-pregnancy period and adolescent period so don't forget that phrase also you want to bring this mothers uh, in a perfect health before they become pregnant okay so just uh, remember that and, uh, and thank you so much